Oh, thank you, Vivian. That was a very fascinating conversation centering around uh, the launch of the Global AIDS Report. And now we shift gears and talk about technology and how it's impacting business. And uh, in uh, studio with me is Kenneth Matiba, uh, a goofer of uh, the Tiro Tech Solutions Limited. How are you this morning? Thank you so much. Karibu sana to the show. Asante. Yes. <laughs> now, let's get into it directly. How has how is the emerging technology impacting businesses today? Yeah, uh, technology has been uh, playing a very big role, mm -hmm. especially on uh, small or uh, upcoming businesses. Yeah, because te technology is abroad. Uh, it comes from uh, the marketing, uh, the structure. Mm -hmm and uh, improving of the quality of service or product that people are doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, in generally it has playing, uh, it has been playing and it's, it still will be playing a very important role uh, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to improvement and uh, increasing the productivity and sales on business in Kenya. Yes. Or, uh, or not only in Kenya, but mm -hmm. uh, in the world. Around the globe. Yes. What about the, pro uh, the decision making process now? Because uh, we are living in a time when data is becoming a very valuable asset to businesses. Yeah, sure. Uh, be it when you are thinking of starting a business or you're already in a business, mm -hmm. be it a big, medium, or a small one, mm -hmm. or just thinking of starting one, mm -hmm. uh, data is something, uh, it's something very good that you have to, uh, you have to consider. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the first thing that you should understand, what is data mm -hmm. or data analysis? Mm -hmm. It is cleaning, interpreting, and visualizing uh, of ideas through a, a, a business uh, an, a analysis tools. Mm -hmm. Uh, to help you make a smarter, uh, s smart decisions, mm -hmm. because without data, uh, without good uh, data analysis, mm -hmm. you cannot improve mm -hmm. on uh, what you're producing. Mm -hmm. The main importance of data analysis is to make you do good, uh, good decision making. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you want to venture in production, uh, in, in, in manufacturing of of, of, of product or, or e.g. milk. Uh, you have to do that analysis. What has been there before? Mm -hmm. What is it that? What is something that you're going to do? Mm -hmm. What are your client? Uh, what are your client preference? Mm -hmm. And client preference is very key mm -hmm. when you're starting some. Uh, when you're starting. A, uh, when you're starting a business. Okay. So, uh, be it a small business, medium, or somebody who want to start. Uh, uh, who want to start or aiming at starting a business, that analysis is 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 a, is a core right decision to mm -hmm. make first. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in a way, data analysis, uh, data analytics have become, can we say have, it has become the compass with which businesses now are making strategic choices? Yes, uh, it, is, it is, a core, is, is a core of business mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, before you find uh, data analysis was just being done by few people, mm -hmm. but you find some organization have even, uh, some, of, uh, some of organization have data anal analytic uh, department, mm -hmm. or if they can't, uh, 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 bigger, the, these are the big companies, they even uh, 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 hire mm -hmm. data uh, data analysis companies mm -hmm. to come and uh, help him, uh, mm -hmm. help them uh, collect data. Mm -hmm. The main reason for doing that is to make a decision. Mm -hmm. So uh, for you to make just uh, for you to make a top notch de decision mm -hmm. of improving uh, your quality of production or ensuring uh, ensuring that mm -hmm. uh, you 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 push your company to the next level. I prefer and I always I encourage all all, all, all companies, mm -hmm. be it small or uh, SMEs, yes. to invest much more in that analysis. D d yeah. talk, talk about that importance because um, at, at some point there are people who are businesses that yes. um, think matters to do with data analytics or technology in general mm. belong or is a preserve of bigger entities. Before, uh, see Kenya uh, in East Africa. Mm -hmm. Kenya, uh, if you check us the, dat uh, the the data as per se, mm -hmm. uh, we are really improving on technology. Mm -hmm. uh, comparing to African countries, mm -hmm. we are among the best. Uh, before then, people were uh, uh, when you heard of technology and or data, mm -hmm. the uh, the small company thought that the only thing people can do this. Are the are the, the big giant in business? Yeah. But uh, now, when you come down, mm -hmm. even uh, uh, as, as a tech firm or a software firm, mm -hmm. you find those are, those SMEs are coming more for these technologies uh, than even the bigger company, because now it, it's level the playground. Mm -hmm. You find a company was not having uh, the, the, uh, something like website. Most people knew that the only big companies can, can have it. Mm -hmm. 
But you see, website is an, is, is an online office. You can visit my website when I sleep, and tomorrow in mon morning you call me. Mm -hmm. Now these small companies have started uh, embracing this, and uh, they are doing it. Mm -hmm. On, when you come to digital marketing technology, they, they, uh, they were for the big giant. But now, uh, after the COVID, people thought that uh, people s started realizing the importance of digital marketing. Mm -hmm. So it's a technology that uh, not only left mm -hmm. for the big giant, mm -hmm. but these small uh, companies, mm -hmm. um, companies or SMEs have mm -hmm. started realizing the importance of technology. Mm -hmm. And they're adopting it for their betterment mm -hmm. so that they can level up with the big company. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, go back a little bit and talk about, uh, still on uh, data analytics, and in, in, in terms of um, businesses trying to achieve precision mm -hmm in meeting preferences mm. of, uh, of, of uh, the customers or the clientele that they are targeting. Mm. What is, uh, has data analytics helped this mm, aspect or are they driving towards that? Yes, uh, the, the, it has helped because for example, if I want to produce a product today, mm -hmm. uh, I might not be the end user. Let's mm -hmm. say I've, I've started a company of manufacturing a ladies, uh, ladies wig yes. or ladies perf uh, perfume, or ladies uh, uh, jewels. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see, I'm not, I may not be the end user of the product. Mm -hmm. The end users are the ladies or women. So number one, for me to bring into the market what is going to sell out mm -hmm. or what is going to be of benefit to them, I have to get their, their, their views. Mm -hmm. I, have to get, uh, I have to get the idea from them. Mm -hmm. I have to go back, yeah. get the data. Get the data. Yeah. What are their preferences? So that when I'm customizing my product, I'm not customizing it as a businessman. Mm -hmm. I'm customizing it to uh, to fit the preference of my end user, mm -hmm. who is the client, yes. and wh uh, when you do so, you find when the product reach or arrives at the end user, which is the client who gave me the, the who gave us the 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 the, 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 the results mm -hmm. on how to make it for their preference of customizing, you find that uh, the products won't, uh, won't, won't sleep on the shelves mm -hmm. because we have done and customized exactly mm -hmm. what, they, uh, what they need. Mm -hmm. For example, on, on, on tech, uh, let's say I want to make a, a, so a software or a mobile app to a client, yeah. for a client. Yes. I have to go sit down with them, get what they need, and customize it Im uh, exactly mm -hmm. onto what they are, onto mm -hmm. their preference. Mm -hmm. So the preference matters so much when doing uh, improvement in quality. Mm -hmm. So that uh, once uh, you are pro you're produced or you have delivered the services to your clients is what exactly what they want. So and in other words, you can achieve that by the by yes. The in other words, you've put yourself in the shoes of the consumer. Yes. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. There is also the aspect of. Um, you s you spoke about leveling the playing field. Yeah. How has in, um, technology played a part in this? And is it really a level um, a level uh, playing field, or has this given uh, small businesses an edge to at least reach bigger b bigger entities? Yeah, it has it has given them a, a, a leeway uh -huh. uh, to uh, at least even if they are not in the same level, but they have tried uh, they have they have tried much. As uh, as uh, as uh, uh, they have tried so much to be near mm -hmm. where the uh, where the, these are the big big giants are, because uh, for example, as I told you, these are the small farm. They never knew that what digital marketing is. Yeah. They were they have ne they never invested in the in 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 technology in in, in softwares mm -hmm. in their companies. Mm -hmm. You find a company has uh, like four comp uh, 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 fifteen employees. They do, they never uh, embrace something like payroll or human resource management system. Mm -hmm. uh, how do they appreciate because technology Technology uh, comes with appreciating, uh, appreciating the employees mm -hmm. uh, through the system. How do they work? Uh, how do they motivate the employees through the system? Mm -hmm. So you find uh, 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 introducing or launch of technology within the small farm mm -hmm. have given them a, 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 a way mm -hmm. of getting closer mm -hmm. to this bigger company. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk about the aspect of um, diversity and uh, innovation in as far as uh, the changing business landscape is concerned. Yeah. So uh, on diversity and innovation, mm -hmm. because each and every company that need to move yeah. need to make changes. Because uh, when uh, to do, uh, today uh, this we, this is 2014. Mm -hmm. I mean 2024. 2022. <laughs> uh, the uh, last year was 2023. Yes. 
if you still use the innovation or the system that you are using last year, mm -hmm. and there are always updates and customization of technology, when you come in digital marketing, even mm -hmm. the data analysis tools, mm -hmm. what was what was used last year is mm -hmm. not what, what what is being used today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, this encourages the the, the, the organization or mm -hmm. the uh, business uh, business that are running mm -hmm. to always be innovative. Mm -hmm. Th they go with changes. Mm -hmm. They ensure that uh, changes uh, the, which uh, you change with technology. Mm -hmm. Technology is not static, it's dyna dynamic. Mm -hmm. What we have today will improve tomorrow. Yes. So you have to improve with it. Mm -hmm. And improvement comes in with innovation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, let, let's talk about that impact of uh, technology on business from a security perspective. Yes. Uh, have companies really managed to embrace encryption, cloud technologies to better manage clients' data? Yes, uh, on security, mm -hmm. uh, most most uh, companies nowadays have shifted their cloud data to cloud. Mm -hmm. So you find uh, we are moving. That's why I say uh, in Kenya now. Uh, in Kenya now, mm -hmm. ninety, uh, I think eighty-five percent of companies yeah. are, are, are 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 saving their data mm -hmm. uh, on cloud. Mm -hmm. That's why we are moving from the physical servers. Mm -hmm. So on when you save uh, when you save the client data on cloud. Number one, we have the security of servers mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is uh, being encrypted in, 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 in server's backend. Then number two, we have something called SSL. It's called sec uh, Socket Secure Layer. Yes. It is a security certificate that is being installed mm -hmm. to ensure that no one interferes with the, uh, with the cloud server, mm -hmm. to, uh, with the cloud server uh, uh, so that it, they can hack and get the client's, uh, the client's uh, data. data. But uh, hacking is always there. Mm -hmm. That's why we have the uh, say, uh, a law protecting uh, law under cyber security. Yeah. But system is a system. Uh, some people can try messing up with it so that they can get the client's data. So to ensure that uh, the client data, uh, the, your client's data are protected, mm -hmm. uh, number one is uh, the security on the server. Uh, go down, say, go go down low security. Whereby, mm -hmm. if somebody at, uh, tried hacking the system, the syst uh, the the clouds, mm -hmm. uh, the system or server blocks their APIs. Mm -hmm. Then we have the uh, SSA that I've told you. So all those combined together, you find the cloud servers are protected, and uh, the uh, uh, employees or uh, your clients' data are always safe. Yes. yes. How has technology impacted um, the way the communication within the business environment? The communication, uh, the technology has improved in communication and uh, has really uh, uh, saved a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, to uh, to have, have really saved the companies a lot. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, before technology, you, uh, communication was so hard. If I have a meeting in Kisumu today, I don't need to go to Kisumu. Mm -hmm. I'll easily do a Google app meeting, or I'll do I'll, I'll do Zoom. Number one, that will co uh, will save time and and resources. Uh, uh, if uh, I don't need to travel to Uganda, mm -hmm. I don't need to travel to UK, mm -hmm. and I can easily do a conference meeting mm -hmm. here. Then uh, uh, you find nowadays uh, most companies have adopted mm -hmm. work at home. Yes. Uh, there are few companies. Uh, there, 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 there are many companies that nowadays. They don't. Uh, they are running without even having offices. Yes. They, how do they communicate? They communicate through technology. Mm -hmm. So uh, the technology has improved and uh, has uh, uh, increased the efficiency mm -hmm. and qualities of meetings mm -hmm. through uh, uh, through uh, Google uh, 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 Meetup uh, Meetup modules. That is Meet uh, Google Meet mm -hmm. or Zoom or even so, mm -hmm. oh, these are the, that are always be, uh, are, 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 being, are being developed. What about the aspect of uh, feedback from the employees and also managing feedback from um, the clients concerning the services and products? The, 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 the employees are, uh, the feedback is always positive mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, uh, if through communication we, we can have, we can seal a deal without me coming to you, mm -hmm. like as it's hardly. I've, I've, nev I've, no I've never met 85% of my clients. Uh, em my employees have never met 85% mm -hmm. of our clients. Mm -hmm. So the feedback is so good. So and, uh, we don't waste time when uh, when meeting clients. And clients are happy. You mm -hmm. deliver to them the, uh, the the service or product without even uh, without even meeting them. Mm -hmm. Now you can even order a phone. The, uh, you pay 
and it's being delivered to you. You don't know who, who, who sold that pro, uh, product to mm -hmm. you. The only person you will see is a delivery guy. Mm -hmm. So the feedback is so good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think feedback is always... Uh, uh, is always making the companies to make a decision apart from the data analysis that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's also the aspect um, of um, trust because now people can order anything online and yeah. get it. Does that speak to the heightened levels of trust in the way we do business today? I, yes, it does because uh, as, as, as just as we have just discussed, mm -hmm. is that uh, I can. Uh, there is trust between me and my, my clients. Mm -hmm. I've never met 85% of mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. That is trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, uh, trust does not come with only technology. Mm -hmm. You can have a good technology, but there is no trust. So uh, at the end of the day, you have to ensure that the technology that coming, comes up with, uh, you are coming up with uh, gives more, uh, more attention to clients mm -hmm. so they can be satisfied with the service delivery of the product that you're giving them. Mm -hmm. But uh, technology has improved uh, the, uh, trust for, pro, uh, is a, a two-way traffic, mm -hmm. both client mm -hmm. and, uh, and, 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 and uh, the people who are in, who are in business. Mm -hmm. Because you will order and uh, I'll, give you, I'll give that trust. You receive my product before I receive the payment. Mm -hmm. So, and there is other, uh, other way around. You pay is when you receive the product. Yeah. So it has, uh, the technology has helped mm -hmm. uh, increase the trust between uh, the clients and uh, So the in other words, there's a holistic impact in terms of how we do business sure. and how people have uh, created trust uh, true. Uh, between uh, the client sure. and the yeah. uh, companies. Now, mm -hmm. there's also the aspect of uh, mobile solutions. Yeah. Um, have they changed the paradigm in the way businesses today are doing marketing because people are now using phones to buy things if people are yeah. now using it has, it has changed the game mm -hmm. it has changed the game uh, mobile rev uh, evolution has really uh, technology evolution have really changed the game in Kenya mm -hmm. uh, whereby you find uh, there the, the, the this telecommunication mm -hmm. uh, that are coming with the uh, uh, pace uh, uh, Pesa Pala and Pesa mm -hmm. they have really changed the game mm -hmm. I've said I don't need to have cash in my phone yeah uh, I don't need uh, I don't need to walk uh, any only with my ATM card. Mm -hmm. I can purchase anything any only with cashless. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has reduces the cash uh, cash, uh, cash exchange, mm -hmm. and uh, it has uh, given more companies uh, to save a lot of uh, money and time mm -hmm. because I don't uh, uh, and even uh, the, our clients. Uh, the time that you could have come to. See Mm -hmm. You can even do it. Uh, you can even do. Uh, do you can you, uh, locate that time. Mm -hmm. Use uh, doing other thi other different thing mm -hmm. because the mobile revolution have reduced uh, that interaction. Mm -hmm. We can interact with you, do a business mm -hmm. without us meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the, the technology has changed. Has really also impacted on the cost of doing business. Yes, it With has really reduced the cost of doing business mm -hmm. because, for example, uh, uh, I have four I have four clients in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. I've never met them. But you see, before communication on technology, they were supposed to travel to Kenya or I traveled to Rwanda. Yeah. So that, that, that cost has been, uh, has, been, uh, has, been, uh, has, has been cut off. Mm -hmm. So it is cost and, uh, and, 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 uh, and time too. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, how, or for, how can technology help businesses um, in making sure that there is productivity and there is also trust on the um, part of um, the, the employee because the, you find some companies may in, install uh, monitoring software is to ensure that uh, yeah, it workers it are, are working well. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Huh? Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, I think uh, to me it is, uh, I don't know whether because I'm seeing on a perceptive of an employer, yeah. but me I think it is a, a good thing. Uh, there is a, a, a company that uh, we did uh, as we did for them a system on monitoring employees. Yeah. So it's being in, uh, it's being uh, uh, installed in your the employee's laptop. Yeah. So wherever I am as an employer, I can log into my system, go to Mike's uh, laptop, and I can see and supervise whatever Mike is doing. What? Mm -hmm. So when Mike stops uh, working on my project and yes. he starts watching movies yeah. on YouTube, yes. I can easily see. Yes. So. 
for on uh, uh, again that one will give a, 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 a way of fear to employees productivity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and even lower the, at least a self esteem mm -hmm. but on the productivity i think it will improve because uh, within the working hour this employee will know that if i don't do the correct thing yeah. my boss will see so it but doesn't again, affect their morale it 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 does but now you see what, before you introduce such a thing in a uh, such a software or technology in a company mm -hmm. it's good you do a quick training or a quick uh, 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 education to the employees so that they can understand mm -hmm. why is this, this why why as a company why are you doing this mm -hmm. because a, a, a employee can ask you in my in my CV I wrote, I, I wrote that I can work under minimal supervision but is it a minimal supervision <laughs> but so it is a good thing yeah but uh, uh, at uh, at 90 percent of uh, uh, favoring uh, the company, the company yes. but again it's at, it can lower the the yeah, morale of the uh, because of, of, of the trust employees of, yeah, because they of the feel trust. that they, yeah, they're, they're not, not trusted, trusted. Yeah, sure. to work on their yeah, own yeah sure well uh, concerning small businesses yeah. are there resources that um that are available for them to handle these fast evolving changes yeah there is there, there's a lot uh, there, there's a lot because at the end of the day we are in business to make money uh, to make profit yes not money we are in business to make profit so the the small businesses because uh, they should just embrace technology there are a lot of technology that uh, helps us be it you you are in pro, in product manufacturing mm -hmm. or you are in services mm -hmm. that there, there are a lot of technology that are Come, that comes uh, that comes with the improvement uh, that can make you come from one level uh, one uh, one uh, one step to another mm -hmm. so uh, the advice to the small companies or uh, companies that have not embraced technology mm -hmm. is to ensure that they board these technologies mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, they are in top of uh, uh, they are they're in top with other companies that mm -hmm. have already embraced mm -hmm. for example nowadays it's so hard for you to find uh, physical sales people working in each and every uh, in each and every company that mm -hmm. uh, for them to be giving job mm -hmm. uh, you find nowadays people are going through digital technology mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, nowadays we don't have a, a physical uh, th these unwritten payrolls uh, you have to embrace uh, 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 payroll management system yeah. so uh, it's just them to uh, shift from what is what was being done analog mm -hmm. to digital mm -hmm. and uh, think everything will be okay uh, are there functions or are there common functions that uh, can be outsourced especially for small businesses mm. uh to enhance their operations in terms of technology yeah there is there are a lot of there, there are a lot of things that they can uh, they, they can outsource in technology depending with what uh, what you're producing mm -hmm. or what you the services that you are rendering mm -hmm. yes so once you get to know what services you are rendering mm -hmm. and you compare with what the kind of service you do mm -hmm. because you can't be in technology and you can't be in service and you are looking for technology the, for the people who are doing products mm -hmm. and you can't be in service um, you can't be in product and you're looking for technology mm -hmm. for the people who are using the technology that should be used with people who are in service industry so, so you need to have a very different find goal yes. or objective in or terms what of you what, you, what you are doing yeah. and the kind of uh, technology you, you are want. outsourcing. Yes. Now, as we conclude, what do you see as the future of business now, given the kind of technological advancements we are experiencing? Uh, the see business uh, the future of business uh, has a lot of factors, mm -hmm. uh, from government to technology. Mm -hmm. The technology can be good. Uh, as a business, you can embrace. To, you, can, you will be able to embrace the technology, yeah. but is government giving you that conducive environment to do the business? It's just like uh, you can have a, a good staff, mm -hmm. you can have a, a good uh, top top notch good staff, mm -hmm. but if you are not facilitating these staff, mm -hmm. they won't produce. Mm -hmm. They won't give you results. Yeah. So uh, that one, uh, the future of business depends with the, what government does, mm -hmm. the environment that government creates. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you. Uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, you combine with the, tech, the, the, the current technology. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, uh, in the next five to te uh, in the next five to seven years coming, mm -hmm. uh, Kenyan business that have embraced technology will be much more better. Nice. You find nowadays uh, Kenya, mm -hmm. we uh, we have embraced technology, so whereby these are the these surrounded company uh, other countries are coming for are coming in Kenya to get the technologies. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny that Kenyan government are not embracing our technology system mm -hmm. they are outsourcing but other countries are coming mm -hmm.
to outsource uh, out, uh, our, our tech company, so I mean, uh, tech, uh, tech services. So there's a lot of uh, potential within the country there in terms is. of technology. There is. Your parting shot. Uh, my parting shot is uh, I'm advising all the uh, all the comp all, all the uh, companies or SMEs that have not uh, that have not embraced technology. Mm -hmm. That uh, the new way is a technology. Mm -hmm. Technology reduces cost. It reduces. It increases effi efficiency. Mm -hmm. It uh, it uh, manages your time well, mm -hmm. and uh, it increases that the, it in it ensures that the productivity, be it in your own service uh, service industry or product industry, mm -hmm. are on top notch. Yes. So let's embrace technology yes. as, uh, as as the best uh, as the best uh, uh, as the best tool yes. for future uh, development in our uh, in our businesses. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is Kenneth Matiba Agufa speaking to us about the impact of emergence of technology on business. And this is where we cap this conversation and good morning Kenya as a whole. It's always a pleasure to have you on board. Thank you for watching. Let's do this tomorrow again on Entertainment Thursday. My name is Mike Migwe. Good morning.